How's it going everybody? It's Nick Daniels here uh, coming at you live yet again and uh, today we're talking a, a little bit more about online dating because for some reason every time I do an online dating video um, yeah they just get a whole bunch of hits so fuck it we'll milk it uh, but this is something interesting I don't know I just I think it's funny um, but it's always I, I want to talk about what I avoid uh, what profiles I avoid how do I avoid a profile when I'm online um, and it could be any app you're using man it could be like fucking Bumble POF uh, eHarmony, you know, Tinder, uh, Hinge, you know, the popular ones, doesn't matter. Any of them, doesn't matter. So there's always a couple things I try to avoid. Like if I see a profile, I just like, I, I peace out, right? I, I don't, I don't hit that. Um, this might sound pretty bad. This is pretty much from a guy's perspective. Um, you know, I don't, I know not every woman and guy is going to agree with me here, but there just are things that I see and I'm like, okay, like clearly that like, I'm probably not going to message this person or I'm not swiping right or whatever. And, uh, definitely being the first one is like when it's only like the face pictures, uh, I, I, I'll tend to message them, but I get really iffy about that. Cause if it like, if you can't see anything of this person from like basically like maybe like the, the, the lowest you'll see is like their shoulders, right? And you usually get a pretty good uh, ballpark of what's happening there. So they're just, they're big and they don't want, they're not comfortable. They don't want to show themselves like that uh, in a full body picture. And I, I like to have a few myself on there because I, you know, I want people to know what they're dealing with, right? Okay, like, you know, here's how big he looks. He's tall, I don't know, he's short. Um, you know, and that's a big thing because it's preference. It's not being rude. It's just maybe I'm not into that, but the next guy is, right? And it, and you gotta, you have to play that by ear. Uh, group photos, holy fuck, man! I don't mind group photos, but it, like don't have it as the main picture, and don't and like don't have them all as group photos. And if yeah, if it's all group photos, I don't bother because I I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm messaging. Um, it might sound fucking bad to say it, but it's like usually it's like not the prettiest person in the picture, and you're like, oh, okay, that, that's them. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's just that's terrible. Don't 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 listen to me there. Um, this is a preference, but if they've got kids, I usually don't either. I'm just, I'm not really ready for that, um, to kind of take that responsibility, you know, power to them and power to the guys that go for that. And they're like, Hey, like, I don't mind kind of stepping up good for them. Um, but I can't say anything there. No, that's, that's just a personal thing. Not like, Oh, okay. A bunch of people probably share this opinion. I might just be in a minority there. Huge minority. Um, skanky profile, so not into that shit either. Or if it's like nothing, there's like nothing on it. It's like a picture and like, usually that's a fake account actually. I'll give them that. That's usually a fake account. Um, if it's just like one picture and like they're super like blurry and shit, you know what I mean? Like they're just not good pictures. Uh, screenshots also avoid those. Um, that is like a definite get the fuck out of there. Um, like if you're on Tinder and you're swiping right and you get a match and the, like the pictures you can tell they're screenshotted um, which it's usually pretty fucking blatant because they're not cropped so you'll see something in there like it's not just hey I took a picture here's the picture there's something else in the picture right like there's like an outline of a Tinder profile or like a Google search or something or like a Facebook profile you can tell any of that get away from it it's a fake account it's a guy it's it's something it's just not worth your time i don't bother um and like i said the skanky profile thing absolutely too like if, if it's just them like basically every picture in their underwear i don't bother either um i mean it's gonna sound really bad but if they're like supermodel attractive i don't bother either um i just say that's too good to be true like there's no reason that woman needs to be on tinder like you know what i mean she could literally walk down the street and have every guy turning heads like it, it just doesn't make sense that she'd be on there get away from those two those are fake so that all kind of being said what i think happens a lot though too um is i think a lot of these I mean, I don't know, maybe guys do this too, I don't know. Because guys obviously have some pretty fucking fucked up profiles. Like, I'm not saying I'd message them, but I'm just saying a lot of them look like fucking dweebs. Um, but yeah, it's like, what I find happens, especially at least on the women's side of things, I find out some of them at least are doing it because they're like, okay, like I'm gonna, it's almost like they're gaining some confidence, you know? 
like you're, they're probably showing their buddies and they're like hey like look at this like i got like 192 matches like or likes and i'm not liking any of them right or look at all my matches and i'm you know what i mean i'm not even i'm not even going to respond right i'm going to purposely leave them and it's like it's like stuff like that right that it, it's like this big confidence booster for them because they can just reject people like left right and center and you know and then the guys that are going on there they're getting like four or five likes and that's it uh, you know and, and they're stoked they're like oh my god like i got four like i can message somebody right that's the way it goes man I don't know. I find that online dating stuff like you got yeah, you got to be wearful of, of profiles. Like if their profile is not even filled out properly, like if there's just like jack all there, and like let's be honest, guys have to do like ninety fucking nine percent of the pro of the messaging, right? You got to message first like ninety nine percent of the time. Um, but in the odd case, there's the odd chance um, that you don't. But that that's that yeah, that's really unlikely. But like I said. 90% of the time, you're going to message first. And my biggest gripe there is, like I said, is you have to come up with some interesting message, right? There's, like, fucking tutorials online of, like, how, how to get a girl's attention on Tinder. Like, how to message her, like, properly or whatever. Like, use her name, talk about her profile. Well, if they got nothing filled out in the profile, there's literally nothing to talk about. There's, like, oh, okay, well, I see you got nothing filled out, right? Oh, haha, you noticed that. Yeah, like, you know. That, that's pretty much how that conversation is going to go. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We're going to see the next video. I got nothing else to say there. That's pretty much all she wrote. And uh, I got to make it through the center section, preferably alive. Oh, look at that. We made it. Uh, yeah, and then I'm heading over to work. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Arden Girls. And, uh, yeah, guess what? We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.